Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new 3D modeling video in Maya 2019. Uh, today we're going to do a special request. I did a Dutch windmill a couple of years ago, and the request that I got today is to do an American windmill. Okay, here we go. This video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keisha. Okay everybody, well, we're in my 2019 and today we're going to be modeling an American windmill. Now I did a Dutch windmill a couple of years ago, uh, but this is a special request. Uh, for the first time ever I got a request from my girlfriend to do a model, so this one is for you Caroline. Alright, so um, yeah, let's get started with our windmill. I have a reference image with a bunch of different models, so you can kind of make it your own. You don't have to copy one exactly, and uh, that said, we're just going to get started with a beam. So I'm going to take a polygon cube, hit R to scale it up a little bit, and then we're going to stretch it out like this, and push it in until we have the overall proportions of, I would say, one board that looks alright, maybe a bit tall. Okay, we're going to E to rotate, we're going to hold down J and flip that up like so. Looks about right. Then let's tilt it over and let's do about, I would say, 10 degrees or so. Uh, let's set that to minus 10. There you go. And then we're going to select this. Control D to duplicate, W to move over, and that one will be not minus 10, but 10 to get the opposite angle. That's about right, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a new polygon cube. Let's pull that out. Let's hit R to scale that. Pull it out and let's make it one of the cross sections. So we're gonna go and get it into position first and then we're gonna worry about, you know, size, thickness and whatnot. We're supposed to have one somewhere down here. Let's check our reference. One fairly low and then two pretty high up. So that's going to be about right for the first one. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that way back in. And as we do that, we'll make it thinner and whatnot. We are going to make it a bit taller. Let's hit W. Bring that in. And I want to decrease the overall thickness a little bit. So let's bring that back a little. And then, of course, I want to bring it in. So let's hit R, or we can go in here. And actually, let's hit R. Let's do it this way. Bring it in, and then the W. And I'll, I'll address this in a second, okay? Yeah, that looks all right. And then we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit W to move up. So I'll we'll put one, I would say, around here. And then we'll put one more, I would say, up here. Now these need to come in, like I said, so we're going to hit R, bring that in until we're inside the frame, do the same here, and we'll do that with this one as well, and there you have it, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to drag select all of this, and we're going to go to edit, delete by type history, we're going to go to um, mesh and combine. And then let's set the pivot point at the bottom. So we're going to go in here. We're going to set the pivot point to the bottom. So we're going to hit the insert key. Let's move that down to about there and hit it once again. So now if we go in and we hit E to rotate this guy, we can tilt it inwards like this. Now, how far we need to do that, it's kind of up to you to figure that out. But I think this is not too bad. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit E to rotate. We'll hold on J and we'll flip it around like this. And then we'll hit W and we'll move it in. And this needs to be in the opposite direction, of course. So this guy is at 5.7. So let's do minus 6. And then we'll go in here. And we'll set that one to six. All right, so let's bring that out a little bit. So now we need to deal with connecting the rest up. So let's see if everything is level now. Let's have a look here, that's not too bad. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new board or cube. 
and let's see yeah there we go let's hit r to scale it up again so we can see what we're doing we're gonna hit w move it out hit r scale it in stretch it out pull it up push it in okay so we're gonna go in here and uh, we'll start somewhere around here now let's have a look from this view hit four for wireframe mode so when we hit R to bring this in, we can have the same height. Right click at a vertex, drag select. There you go. Then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna bring that in. Let's try to get that aligned a little bit. Right click at a vertex, drag select, bring it in as well. And now let's have a closer look here after frame that in. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. We want this to be thinner. Even thinner than that. That looks fine. And then we need to get that into position. So we'll hit after frame this, hit four for wireframe mode. And we're gonna do is we're gonna hit E to rotate the sky until we have the proper angle. Hit W, move this up a little bit and move it in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit W to move down. We'll get one in position right there. So height is okay. Then we're gonna go to look at the angle here. That's about right. Control D once again, bring it down. After frame that, pull it out, bring it down. And then we need to make it a bit wider. So let's hit R and bring that out. And then right click and go to vertex and bring it out from this end. Now, depending on how far you want to go, I think this should be about right. Let's have a look. Okay, that looks right. So we need to have those at the other end as well, of course. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here one, two, and three. Let's go to mesh and uh, combine. We're gonna go to modify and center pivot. Then we're gonna go to the top. After frame that, we want that pivot point to be exactly smack in the middle, right? So what we need to do here is we need to drag click everything, hit control G to group this, go to uh, modify and center pivot, hold down X and snap it. And then we're gonna take this stuff right go to modify and center pivot hold on the insert key hold down x and snap that to the center and then hit insert key again control d to duplicate e to rotate hold down j and flip that around and if everything went all right that should be a good fit and it seems to be Right, let's get our reference image here. Move out of the way a little bit. Maybe some little adjustments here and there, it looks like. Especially on these guys. So let's fix that. That looks all right. This guy looks a bit short. This one was wall. So we're gonna pull that out a little. That one's right. These two. Just these two. Come on. Mesh and separate. One and two. Let's go to modify and center pivot. Let's bring that in a bit. So that all looks okay. These two maybe. Let's go to modify and center pivot on those as well. Bring it in. Okay, 
So now we need some cross sections. For that, we're going to borrow one of these. We're going to control D to duplicate, hit W to move that up. And what we're going to do is we're going to position one on top here. And this is going to be a bit tricky, especially to get it right. And that's what we want, right? Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go in, we're going to go to vertex, we're going to drag select these guys, and we're going to move it down here. And we're going to have to decide where we want to position that exactly okay so this is going to go up to about here that would be about the correct fit and then the other one would go about there now let's hit after frame in so we can see where we're at let's just pretend that these are actual boards so we would have one i would say here and again don't be too uh, anal about it you want it to look a little bit stylized right so the other one's going to go in here and let's uh, bring that in let's pull that out like so that's not too bad all right okay of course we need another one so what we'll do is we'll take uh, this guy we'll let control d to duplicate we'll let w to move it out Let's do modify center pivot to make things a bit easier. So that's going to be touching there as well, pretty close anyway. We're going to right click at a vertex, we're going to drag select, we're going to push that down as before, and then we're going to decide where we want what. Okay, so let's push this out. After frame that. Push that up, bring it in, pull it out here, push it up a little. That would be about right. What about this guy? That's not too bad. All right. So now that we have that, theoretically speaking, we should be able to copy all of this over, right? So we're going to do one and two. We're going to go to mesh and combine let's go to modify and center pivot for now however if we want to copy it over it has to go to the center that is the pivot point so hit the insert key hold on x snap that there hit insert key again we're going to control d to duplicate e to rotate hold on j and snap it twice and then hit shift d and shift d Looks like we're pretty far off for some reason. Don't know why, but we'll see. Um, not too far off, actually. Uh, but we'll take this, we'll hit W, we'll bring it in. We seem to have an angle issue there. Not sure why. So instead of fixing these, I'm gonna go back. fix it in one go right now okay that makes sense so what we're seeing here is this is not perfectly square it's rectangular and that's what's creating that issue right so that's a right so what we're going to do here is we're going to control D to duplicate E to rotate hold on J flip that around like so that's why that one is okay and then what we're going to do is just going to copy that process at this end okay so we're going to go to mesh and separate We'll take this, Control D to duplicate, W to move it out as before. All right, we're going to right click at a vertex, we're going to drag select these, push that down here. After frame that, push it out and up. Let's see where we're at. And then push it in this corner here, like that top one should be okay and it is yep yeah. and then we can do once again but then on the other end let's go to uh, modify and center pivot again control D to duplicate W to move that out like so but this time we're gonna right click and get a vertex at the other end just on this guy vertex yeah push that down push that out 
After frame. these two we're gonna go in here one and two let's go to modify and center pivot right now we can go to the top we can go to I hit the insert key hang on mesh and combine hit the insert key move that pivot point to the middle hold down X and snap that and then we're gonna hit it again and we're gonna control D to duplicate E to rotate and hold on J and flip it around. And that should be a perfect fit. And although it sounds cumbersome, it's much quicker than trying to fix everything you had so far. Okay, so we got this, right? Let's just go in here, drag select all of this. Let's go into uh, mesh and combine, modify center pivot, edit, delete by type history and modify freeze transformation okay so now that we have that what we're going to do next is check out our reference image here okay so we've got a little platform there that we need to put in and it's going to be i would say somewhere around here so um in order for us to do that uh, we can do it in a couple of ways uh, i'm just going to take a polygon cube and i'm going to hit r to scale it out to push it up or to push it down and then of course bring it in to I would say something like this now we don't want that uh, inside to be closed off of course that wouldn't make sense so uh, let me just think what the quickest way is here to do this I'm just gonna right click go to face it's like this face and shift like this face Control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset. I would say to about there. And then we're simply going to delete that. Now you can decide whether you want to go in here and bridge these or not. I am. So I'm going to go to edit mesh and bridge and option box linear path bridge. So close that up one and two hit G to repeat one and two and G to repeat and one and two and G to repeat now we do need to go in here go into vertex select all of that and go into uh, edit mesh and merge to merge those vertices and those corners but that said this guy is set now we're gonna hit R we're gonna skill this in a bit And as before, because this is rectangular, we need to make sure that that's okay. All right. I think what we'll do here is we'll go in and we'll make it a bit thicker. So, oops, control Z, go back, yeah. So we're gonna go in here to face. We got those, yeah. Control E again. Let's um, tweak that a little. Like so. I think that's fine. And then we'll go in here and we'll select those top faces. Hit Control E again and W and raise that up like so. That kind of makes sense. Okay, let's have a look here at our reference and maybe we'll just come on let's go to object mode yep we'll just hit R to scale it up a little bit so we can have a look all right so that seems to be okay and then we have an axle going up that's kind of important of course to have that smack in the middle so we'll take a polygon cylinder and we'll hit R to scale that a little bit from this view that's fine let's uh, 
make it a bit thinner. We need a W, we're gonna bring that down to the floor. And then this is gonna come way up. I would say to about here maybe. But we can adjust later if we have to. All right, so that seems to be okay so far, right? I think um, this looks all right here. Um, yeah, that's okay. So what we're gonna do from here on is we're gonna create uh, a couple of things. We're gonna create an axle that moves to the front, which can be a bit thinner than this one, but we can use this one. So I hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it backward like that, hit W, move that up. And we're gonna hit R and scale it down a bit. Hit W, move it back, I would say to about here. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to vertex, and let's move that into about here. Now we're gonna need a tail section for that. So let's do that. First, we'll take a polygon cube, pull that up, push it back, R to scale that up, push it in, make it nice and then like this then we'll have a look from this view w bring that in bring that down we're gonna push that back like this and push it back like this and then we're gonna go to insert edge loop option box multiple and one and because of that one, we can now go in here and put it in the middle. Hit uh, Q on our keyboard. We're going to go to Vertex. Let's take these and these. Hit W and push them back like that. And then we can decide to take these, actually just these two. Hit R and push it in a little. And take these and flare that out. And maybe even bring that in like that right okay let's uh, tweak the thickness a little bit it's a bit much okay proportionally speaking the whole thing is a bit big for the model so let's hit R and let's just bring that way down and then bring it in like here all right so now that we have that, what's next? We need kind of uh, an electromotor gear unit type deal. So for that, we'll take a, a polygon cylinder. We'll pull that up. We'll hit R to scale that up. Let's hit E to rotate it and hold on J. There you go. We're gonna bring it up a little bit. After frame that so we can see if that looks aligned a little, yep. We're going to go in here, we're going to go to Edge, we're going to double click on this guy, go to uh, Edit Mesh and a Bevel. Uh, that looks cool. We'll do this one as well, except the fraction there will be slightly different. That's right. Good, good. And this one can come down now. Let's move that all the way down like this. And then let's deal with the front there. Now, for the front, that's going to be a bit tricky. We need a couple of side arms. Um, so let's borrow this guy. Let's hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J until it's at 90 degrees, and it is. W to move it this way. Go to uh, Modify and Center Pivot. So we can now, first of all, hit R and scale it in a bit. Uh, we want that to be centered with the front there. So let's do it from this view. W to move it. Let's move it over here. And let's see. We'll hold on the V to snap it. We're supposed to be at this end, but that's fine. Same deal. And we again need to get a sense of how big that needs to be bit bigger than this I would say so we're gonna hit R and we're gonna flare that out like so maybe tweak that thickness a little and we need to be absolutely sure that we're centered on this guy and hit W and there you go 
Okay. So we have this guy. I would even go as far as to extend it a little bit more, but we'll see if that will work height-wise in a second. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, one, two. Let's hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, and Shift D. All right. So now that we have that, let's see if that is enough or too much. We'll find out. I think it's okay though. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a uh, polygon cylinder. This is going to be a little bit tricky, I guess. Let's hit W, move that out, move that up, hit R to scale it out, hit E to rotate it, hold on J, flip it down like so. Then we're going to go in here and we're going to set the five. Let me just check our reference here. Let's make that six. Okay, so now we have that. We're going to set our caps to zero. Okay, and we're going to hit R. I'm not quite sure why this guy is at such a weird angle. I probably. Yep, there you go. All right, so we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale this guy and make it nice and flat like this. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna right click our face, one and two. Control E to extrude, tweak the offset a little bit uh, like this. We're gonna hit uh, delete. And I, well, technically we would have to close these insides here. So let's do that. Let's go to Edit Mesh and Bridge. Come on, one and two. G repeat last command. So we're going to drag select this guy, we're going to go to uh, select the vertices, go to edit mesh and merge. All right. So now we have this guy, let's go to modify and center pivot. So now we can go in here, hit W to move it, and Move it to that center right there. Let's hit R, scale this in. And let's have a look. W to move it over here. Have to frame that. Now the whole thing is still a bit thick, I would say. Uh, let's see. We'll hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit R and we'll pull one in like this. And that is probably, let's try that again. Probably enough, I would say, two of these. Now I do need to keep in mind that the thickness will be different. So I'll have to adjust this one and I'll show you. So we need to push that one in so it's the same right okay so now that we have that we need to deal with these uh, scoops or wings or whatever they're called right so for that <clears throat> kind of tricky uh, I think the best way to do it is to start with a simple polygon plane we'll hit W and I've really never thought about how to do this so while I'm doing that I'm figuring out how so we got that, we're gonna hit E to rotate, we're gonna hold on J, move it up, move it forward, R to scale it in, W to move back, after frame in, okay? So we need to have some kind of starting point here. So I'm gonna go to vertex and I'm gonna hit R and push these in, make them nice and thin, like that. 
and then we'll go in here and we'll take those the W move that down and then hit R and push that in a little like this now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into Injured edge loop, which is still set to one if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and then we'll do one here and one here and one here Q on the keyboard All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in And we're gonna go into object mode and we're gonna go up to deform uh, Let's see we're gonna go to We can do it with a lattice I would guess but we can do it with a the twist as well. We're going to hit E to rotate that handle. We're going to hold on J and flip it upward like that. Then we're going to go into the twist handle and let's see what we can torque this. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And I think that would be enough. All right. Okay, so then we're going to go in here. We're going to select this guy, go to edit, delete by type in history to get rid of all that. We're going to take this guy, we're going to move it forward. We're going to tweak the angle a little bit. And to an extent where that front piece there is kind of level. We do need to extrude it a little bit. So hit control E to extrude. Let's give it some thickness. That's all right. Then we're going to go in here in object mode. Let's hit W. Let's move that back in. that would almost be right let's tweak that a little so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the insert key we're going to move the pivot point down and what we're going to do here is we are going to let's see w we'll have to go this far and can we sell that? Yeah, I think we can. We, we can sell that and I'll explain how in a second, right? So that's okay. And now we need to focus from the front here. So what I need to do here is just hit H to hide this guy. So I can see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna move it up to Give me one second, guys. We're gonna do it differently. We're gonna scale it a little bit so I can move it up because we don't want these to touch when I duplicate them, okay? So it's touching on top there still, I hope. Yeah, that's okay. Pivot point's down there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move the pivot point to the center here. So hit the insert key. We're gonna move that pivot point to the center here, like this. Hit that insert key again. Hit control D to duplicate, E to rotate and hold on GA. Let's try four rotations. Let's actually go back. That's not that too many. Let's, uh, let's see here. We're going to hit control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, on two, hit the shift D, and go all the way around. All right. So we have a little angle issue here, as you can see. Uh, we'll fix that. We'll just take these guys. Let's go to mesh and combine. Let's go to modify and center pivot. So now we can go back in here and we can rotate that a little bit. Hit W, move it. And then we're gonna go to this view, after frame. Uh, 
okay and how to connect all of that stuff is to simply create a, a little axle in the middle right just need to make sure that this is perfectly centered I don't believe it is So we'll take a little axle here, like I said, we'll pull that up, pull it out, hard to scale that out, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it on its side like this, hard to scale it down, pull it out, let's get this in line with this guy, W to move, hold down V to snap, R to scale that down. frame okay so I still have an alignment issue looks like so let me just fix that not quite sure what's not perfectly aligned but we'll find out in a hurry and I'm gonna leave all of this stuff in the video guys for the simple reason that you at some point will run into issues like this and when you do you kind of need to know how to get out of that right so this is going to go to uh, mesh and combine and then uh, let's see modify and center pivot so if we align that with that axle that should be better okay and then we have this guy coming forward We can either do it like this. I think that will work. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we got this guy, of course. And we'll just uh, check and double check to make sure that down, that now makes sense. Something's off, guys. I think the uh, pivot point of this guy is off. Let's go to center pivot. Not quite sure what the reason is there, but I'll have to do it manually. There's nothing else I can do, really. All right, we'll move that forward. All right. Okay, so we can now go back to display and show all. So we got that back. Now the only thing left that we need to think about is the fact that these blades look a little bit too uh, small, all right? So uh, let's do this, let's hit R, let's uh, scale them out a bit. And I think that looks all right. And we'll hit W and we'll move that forward just to break that contact like so. And I think there you have it. There's our windmill. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy into Keyshot to put a texture on it and uh, then we'll call it a day, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you got any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, uh, see you guys next time, bye. Did it, did